what can I do with this? We're almost there. There's like, there's like maybe two lines to go. And we're pretty much there to get the relationship between theta and alpha. Any suggestions? What do you reckon, Raj? What do you say? Uh huh. Okay, now just before Raj goes on, <laughs> saying angle AOC on that side, not a particularly technical or, or unambiguous or clear way of saying it. Um, AOC, the angle that Raj is talking about is very helpful. How would you refer to this angle AOC in that it's different to this angle AOC? Th this angle over here, it's an obtuse angle, isn't it? At least that's the way we've drawn it, okay? That makes the angle on the other side not an obtuse angle. It's going to be a reflex angle, okay? So you would actually name that, you would say reflex angle AOC. That's the way you would actually refer to that angle. It's a little bit awkward, but there's no other unambiguous way um, that's succinct. It's certainly better than saying on that side. <laughs> so now Raj, tell us what you were going to say about this angle. Uh, is that angle double of theta? This angle here is, Raj is suggesting that's two theta. I need another color. How does that work? What's going on there? It is 2 theta, but can you see why? Let me highlight it for you a little bit. Remember you told me the angle, uh, the regular angle AOC is double angle ADC, because it's the angle at the center standing on the same arc over here on this side, ABC, all right? Well, have a look, you've actually got the same relationship over here. It just looks weird because it's sort of inside out. The arc we're referring to is, uh, I'll start from this way, is arc A, D, C. Um, if I, I, by the way, I call it A, D, C. I gave you three points so you know it goes around this way rather than that way. You can call it arc A, C because that's the beginning and the end. But how would you distinguish that arc A, C from this arc A, C? It's very similar to this, isn't it, right? You have to actually say something. So one is a big one and one is a small one. So we would call this the major, this is actually worth writing down, the major arc, AC, as opposed to the minor arc, AC. So there's the minor arc, AC, this is the major one, okay? So can you see that angle ABC stands on this red arc, stands on the major arc? And AOC is the same. It also stands on that arc. One's at the circumference, one's at the center. So that's why Raj has got it, he's nailed it, that's two theta, okay? We're almost there. What's the relationship now? I was trying to find this, that's what I was setting out to find. How am I gonna do it? Two theta, two alpha, they are angles at a point, right? So therefore I can write two alpha plus two theta equals 360 degrees, okay? Now I only introduced alpha to make this a little bit easier to work with. I wanna find out what alpha is. So how do I make alpha the subject? What will I do here? Two alpha equals, so I'm gonna subtract. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a theta. Let me make a bigger tail there, okay? Uh, I'll make that a little more obvious. I will point out though, textbooks often write theta like that. That's often how they write it, like how it's typed, but anyway. Uh, there's my theta, so now what do I do? I'll just, just divide by two, right? So what does this tell us? What does this tell us? Um, I can get rid of alphas now, I don't need any alphas here. This guy over here, 180 degrees minus theta. So alpha is the, it starts with S, what is it? It's the supplement of theta, right? If you have a cyclic quadrilateral, then the opposite angles will always be supplementary. Okay, I guess I could have said it like this. Alpha plus theta has to equal 180 degrees. That, that's what supplementary means, okay? So therefore, the property you get out of this, therefore, and now that we've proved this, we can quote it anytime we like. Um, opposite angles. In what kind of shape is this? It's a cyclic quadrilateral. It's not just any quadrilateral. All the points are cyclic. Uh, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are, uh, what was the relationship? They add it to 180, so that's supplementary.
OK, lovely. Now, the next property we're going to prove is so brief that um, we're going to use the same diagram. In fact, I only need to put in a tiny little thing here. See, um, angle ADC is what we found out was the, uh, the supplement of angle theta over there. So what I want you to do is I want you to take interval, or the chord AD, this guy down the bottom, take this chord, and I want you to extend it. In mathematics, when you take an interval and you make it a bit longer, we have a special name for that. We say we produce AD, and we're going to make it just a little bit longer. So let's produce AD out to a point like this. Uh, let's call that E, I guess. If you produce AD out to E, then can you tell me what this new angle is that we formed here? C, D, E, what's its size? It's just theta, isn't it? It's just theta. Why is that? Because what, what's the relationship between these two angles? They are angles on a straight line. right? And angles on a straight line, as we know, add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, there's this nice sort of matching relationship here. Now, how would you name this, this angle, C, D, E? What kind of an angle is it? It's not inside the quadrilateral, is it? So it's, a, it's an exterior angle, right? Now, we know properties about exterior angles. Do you remember this one? If you've got some angle x over here, and you've got a and b over here in a triangle, then the property that we associate with this is the exterior angle of a triangle equals what? It's the sum. It's the sum of the opposite two interior angles. Please mark, by the way, don't say this angle equals the opposite two interior angles. It doesn't equal, I mean, they're not even equal, right? So it equals the sum, x is equal to a plus b, right? Well, in a cyclic quadrilateral, the exterior angle does something different. This exterior angle is equal to, it's not equal to the sum of anything. What's it equal to? The opposite. And this one is on the inside, the opposite interior angle. Does that make sense? So we can, we can write that right under here. Um, it didn't take much really effort. It, most of this was the work. The exterior angle of a cyclic quad, cyclic quadrilateral, equals, what did we just call that guy? Theta? It's the opposite interior angle. That's nice. 